once again i welcome you to this channel it's been exciting having you uh, watch my videos I, your comments and questions have, have actually been um, a source of inspiration okay to me personally and um we will uh, do well uh we'll do our best actually to make sure we satisfy you don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've not done so and then also um share our videos okay for the benefit of those who do not know that uh, this channel exists okay so tell them so in this present video today we shall be looking at the intestines okay of the goat of course we have these as a representative for other ruminant species so what you have here can also give you a guide or a hint okay to other ruminant species like the cattle and then the sheep okay so uh, of course the intestine is made up of majorly two parts the small intestine and the large intestines okay so what we have from this point okay down to this point okay is the small intestines okay while from this point okay down to this point is the large intestines okay now let's look at the three parts of course the small intestine has three parts three major parts while the large intestine also has three major parts okay the the three major parts of the small intestine is includes the duodenum okay this is the duodenum okay this is a duodenal loop okay forms a loop so this is a duodenum okay and at this point when it begins to you know spiral very well okay it becomes the jejunum so the whole of this mass is the jejunum the jejunum is actually the longest part okay of the small intestine okay it is the longest part of the small intestine all these are is a straight cord okay which forms loops it just forms several loops all over okay and then continues at this point from this point it continues as the ileum okay so the ileum is actually this short uh, portion okay it's actually this short portion so the ileum which we see here is the part of the small intestine that makes contact or that joins with the large intestine at this particular junction now this arrow here the red arrow uh, shows the point at which the small intestine okay uh, joins with the large intestine now the structure you see here okay this is the secum okay of course i said this is the ileum this is the secum and then this is the beginning part of the colon okay so this particular junction here is called the iliosecocolic junction okay go so the the ileum actually joins the large intestine at this point okay and this junction is actually called the iliosecocolic junction okay the iliosecocolic junction well the name actually the term brings together the names of the three structures which uh, form this junction okay so like i said that the small intestine joins the large intestine at a junction or at a point called the iliosecocolic junction and this junction is made up of the ileum the secum okay and then the colon so this is the colon all right now uh, having talked about the small intestine let's move over to the large intestine like i said initially the large intestine consists of this entire mass up to this point okay and it is also made up of three major parts it is made up of the secum okay the colon and then the rectum okay the secum starts from this point you know this is anatomy so we need to get it uh, specifically we need to get it clear okay from what point to what point so the secum is this mass from this point to this point okay from this point to this point okay the colon starts from here and runs until this point okay while well, this is the rectum now let's look at uh, having seen the secum 
nothing much to say about the circle let's talk about the colon okay the colon is also the longest part of the large intestine just like the jejunum is the longest part of the small intestine okay so the colon is the longest part of the large intestine now the colon has three major parts the colon has the ascending parts this is the ascending colon okay which is made up of this point up till this point okay the ascending colon starting from here starting from the iliosecocolic junction up until this portion here now the second part of the colon is the transverse colon okay the transverse colon okay and then the final part of this uh, 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 of this intestine of the colon the final part the third part is the descending colon which is from this point down to where it joins the rectum so this is the point where the descending column joins the rectum okay this is the point where it joins so this is the rectum now let's look at the uh, different parts of the ascending column because the ascending column also has different has three different parts okay this the ascending column has three different parts we have the the the, the proximal loop okay this is a proximal loop as p we have the spiral loop okay this is a spiral loop or the spiral disc as s and then the third one is the distal loop that's the d the distal loop okay i take it again this is the proximal loop okay of course i must mention that the 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 circum is actually a blind sack okay the circum is a blind sack now the proximal loop the first part of the ascending colon is this the proximal loop okay which joins or continues as the spiral loop or disc now uh we can't really go into separating or separation of these uh, coils but i must tell you that it has the centripetal coils and then the centrifugal coil okay now the next portion after the spiral loop or disc is the distal loop okay this is the distal loop which then continues as a transverse column so this is a three parts of the ascending column okay and then the transverse column and then this is the descending column while this is the rectum i think um, this is just a, a short video to summarize the or uh, to tell you about the large intestine the small and large intestine of the ruminant thank you very much for watching don't forget don't forget to subscribe to this channel okay and then do well to share our videos and um, uh, make your comments make your comment ask your questions where and when necessary thank you